Above ground symptoms of black shank develop as the roots of the plant become necrotic. Infections occur in multiple locations on the plant. On this plant we see infections that occurred along the stem or the adventitious roots. Several of the roots have become infected and the infection has moved into the stem. This plant, much further along in symptom development, shows a different pattern of infection. The lower true roots have become necrotic and most have been rotted away. You'll also see some healthy but also infected adventitious roots. In both cases the infection has moved into the stem resulting in the typical black shank. This plant is in the early stages of symptom development with only minor yellowing and wilting observed. The large root system is primarily healthy but at the base of the plant note there are one or two blackened roots. While this level of root rot is minor on a susceptible cultivar, this level of infection is sufficient to cause stem rot and black shank. This plant, a little younger, has extensive stem necrosis and root rot. In this particular case, most of the infections occurred along the stem, but again, on a susceptible cultivar, leads into advanced stages of stem rot. This plant, very close to death, has an extensive level of root rot. Note that the true roots are essentially completely rotted away and most of the adventitious roots are also necrotic. In both cases this level of infection moves into the stem and results in plant death. 